in the last lecture we had a high level overview of what is the relationship between the tables in a relational database and what are the different types of relations we can have between two tables now in this lecture we are going to learn how we can create a one to one relation between two tables we are going to create a one to one relation between the user table and the profile table now to define a one to one relation between two tables in one table from where we want to relate to another table in that table we should have a column which should store a foreign key and this foreign key is nothing but the primary key of the other table to which we want to relate to so here we have a user table and profile table for the profile table this id column is its primary key column so in the user table here we want to relate this user table to this profile table so in the user table we should have a column which should store the primary key from the profile table and in the user table that primary key will be called as foreign key because this key which we are storing here it is from a foreign table from another table to which we are trying to relate to so as we have learned in a relational database we relate two tables using foreign key primary key relationship so on the profile id we will have a foreign key this foreign key is going to store the primary key from the related table and in this way we create a relation between two tables now here in this example we are storing the foreign key in the user table so basically we are relating the user table to the profile table but we can also do it in other way around we can store the primary key of the user table in one of the foreign key column and in that way the relation will be from profile table to user table currently the relation is from user table to profile table and this is what we are going to implement in this lecture in the user table we are going to have one more column which is going to store the primary key from the profile table and we are going to join the foreign key in this case profile id column of user table with the primary column of the profile table let's see how we can implement this so i want to establish a relation from user to profile so first we will go to user entity there we are going to add one more field called profile and this profile should be of type profile entity so i am going to specify the type as profile entity and to use this profile entity we need to import it from this file okay and let's also make this profile as optional because let's say when creating the user the user does not have to provide the profile details it does not have to specify the first name last name etc and if you remember in the profile entity let me also open profile entity here you will see that there we have set all these fields as nullable okay and i'll explain you why now let's go to user entity so here we have created a new field called profile which is of type profile entity now to create a one to one relationship between the user entity and the profile entity on this profile we are going to use a decorator one to one and in order to use this decorator we also need to import it from type orm so when we specify this one to one decorator we are telling that here we want to create a one to one relationship from user table to profile table if i use this one to one decorator in the profile entity then the relation will be created from profile to user that means the profile table will store the foreign key but here in this case when we are using this one to one relation in this user entity that means the user table is going to have the foreign key column now to this one to one decorator we need to pass one mandatory argument so here we need to pass a callback function and from there we need to return the entity for which we want to create the relation here we want to create the relation with profile entity okay so here we have defined that we want to have a one to one relation from user to profile now as we saw in the slide in order to create the one to one relation we need to have a link from the foreign key column of user table to the primary key column of the profile table and to define that relation to define that link 
we are going to use another decorator here called join column and this join column it is going to create a link between the foreign key of user table to the primary key of the profile table now the next question which will come to your mind is which column will be the foreign key column in the user table actually when we have used these two decorators what will happen is in the table a new column will be created called as profile id okay and that profile id column will store the id from the profile table and let me actually show you that also so let's save the changes here let's go to pg admin and there let me go ahead and let me refresh this user table first and let me expand this user table let's expand this columns and you will see that here we have a new field called profile id so this new column has been added here let me close this let's also close this and let's open this user table let's simply say view edit first 100 rows and if i scroll to the right you will see that the profile id column is present there okay and this profile id is going to store the id from the profile table so in this way we have created a relation from user table to profile table in this profile id column of this user table we are going to store the id from the profile table now let's go back to vs code and let's also test it for that first let me go to the dto let's go to create user dto there and there along with email username and password now we are also expecting profile and what will be the type of this profile the type of this profile will be create profile dto so in order to use this create profile dto we also need to import it this create profile dto is present in the dto folder of the profile here so from there we have imported this create profile dto and since in the entity we have set it as optional here also let's use is optional so when we say is optional that means the user can the user can provide the details for the profile or if he want he can omit that in that case this profile will be null so for that let's set its value to null so this profile either it will be of type create profile dto or it will be null with this let's save the changes let's go to user controller.ts and here we have this create user now we are going to call this post route of this user endpoint so let's go to postman and here we don't need to pass first name last name and gender we need to pass a username let's specify that let's say username is john smith okay so it is expecting username email and password these are mandatory fields and along with that if we want we can also specify profile like this and in this profile we can specify the first name last name gender etc or what we can also do is we can pass an empty object like this and since all the fields in the profile entity is optional in that case a record will be created in the database with null values for all the columns for first name last name gender bio profile pic etc so let me first try it without this profile so let me cut it from here and here let's change the request type to post and now let's go ahead and let's send this request so here you can see it says 201 created let's go to pg admin and there let me rerun this command and now you will see that we have a record username is john smith email is john at gmail.com password test1234 you can see the created at here so the current date and time you can also see the updated at the current date and time and you can see the deleted at is null and for this one if you see the profile id is null because we did not specify any profile and if we open the profile table and if i run this you will not see any records created here 
now let me go back to postman and let's also add profile and there i'm specifying an empty object let's say email is mary and username is mary jane let me send this request this post request again again we have received this 201 response let's go back to pg admin let's go to user table and let me rerun this query and now we should have two records john smith mary jane and for this also you will see that the profile id is not created that means the profile has not been created and we can verify that by going to the profile table and running this query and you see no record has been created so even though i have specified this profile here with this also it is not creating a record in the profile table and the reason is we are not doing it in the correct way so in the next lecture let's learn how we can create a profile along with the user record so whenever a user record is created and when we are specifying this profile at that time it should also create a profile in the profile table with the default values okay and what we will also do is since our requirement is whenever a user creates his account with that a profile should also be created for that user which he can later update so even if in the request body this profile is not specified then also we want to create a profile for the user in the profile table whenever a user record is created let's see how we can do that in our next lecture